Good afternoon, Guardians. TBL here, and Lady Aphrodite has made her way to Fell Winter Peak once again. So that's right, we're here to check out her inventory and thank her for the great stuff she brought this time around. Definitely a good lineup, so let's check out these rolls. For Warlocks, that's going to be the Iron Saga Gloves, and they're coming at a really good Intellect Discipline and a really good, virtually perfect Discipline Strength roll. As usual, we've come to expect this from Lady Aphrodite. For the Intellect Discipline roll, you've got Snap Discharge, Momentum Transfer, as well as Scout Rifle Loader. While on the Discipline Strength roll, we have got Energy Projection, Impact Induction, and Auto Rifle Loaders. For Hunters, we've got the Iron Saga Grips. The Intellect Discipline roll comes with Switchblade, Momentum Transfer, and Hand Cannon Loader. That's pretty much perfect. That is a great setup for today's meta. Alright, now let's go ahead and take a look at the Discipline Strength roll. This one is coming with Fastball, Impact Induction, and Auto Rifle Loader. For Titans, we of course have the Iron Saga Gauntlets. The first Intellect Discipline roll comes with Rain Blows, Momentum Transfer, and Scout Rifle Loader. That's not a bad build for PvE. Let's go ahead and check the Discipline Strength roll. Alright, so the Discipline Strength roll comes with Paramuscular Armature, Impact Induction, and finally Pulse Rifle Loader. Now this is a lot more like it for PvP. Increasing your grenade throw distance, getting more energy back when you melee people, and Pulse Rifle Loader. Good stuff. But alright, next up we've got the Iron Saga Vestments, the chess piece for you Warlocks. And it's pretty much the same story. Fantastic stat rolls. It's like 98-99% for the Intellect Discipline and 100% for the Discipline Strength. Alright, next up for Hunters, that is the Iron Saga Vest. Roll number one's got hand cannon and shotgun ammo, as well as a solar recovery solar armor. That's a very good roll. Again, perfect for today's meta. And roll number two, the Discipline Strength roll comes with hand cannon ammo, as well as sniper rifle ammo, and an arc recovery arc armor build. Good stuff. Not to mention it looks fantastic with the Valentine Shader. Next up, the Iron Saga plate for the Titans comes with Scout Rifle and Sniper Rifle ammo, as well as Arc Recovery and Arc Armor for the Intellect Discipline roll, while the Discipline Strength roll comes with Hand Cannon and Sniper Rifle ammo, as well as Arc Recovery and Arc Armor once again. Bungie definitely knows what subclass people are playing on Titans in the Crucible right now. Let's move on to the weapons. This week, we've got the Titanium Orchid Iron Banner Rocket Launcher. This baby is basically the new version of the Tormid's Bellows. It's in the same archetype. Let's see how it's rolled. This thing is rocking aggressive launch, smart drift control, and hard launch. Very good. It's going to boost this gun's velocity. It's also got javelin, which is basically going to max out the velocity for this weapon. Comes with fitted stock, lightweight, flared magwell, grenades and horseshoes, and cluster bomb. Well, to be honest, Guardians, this is about as good as it gets. Maybe you would want a little bit more blast radius on this, but getting all of that extra velocity plus grenades and horseshoes is basically pitch perfect for a rocket launcher. Plus, Flared Magwell is there to help you reload it even faster. This is a must-buy, and thankfully, it's the Rank 4 purchase and not the Rank 5. Alright, for the Rank 5 purchase, we have the Binding Blaze Legendary Iron Banner Sidearm. Now, the sidearm's in kind of an interesting spot. It's not really the best sidearm in the game, not quite as good as something like the Wormwood, but it's rolled pretty well. As you can see here, this thing's got hand loaded for bonus range, snapshot, feather mag, range finder, and finally cascade. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's got a little bit of that extra stability thanks to injection mold. Uh, hand loaded or range finder is going to boost out the range for this thing. This is just a pretty darn good roll for a sidearm. The only thing holding it back is that, again, it's just not really the best archetype of sidearm. The gun is hit scan though, so you don't have to worry about bullet travel time. Just aim and shoot, which is great, but unfortunately it's time to kill is just a little bit higher than the other archetypes of sidearms. Alright, that's it for the weapons and armor on sale. Let's check out the bounties. First up, we have got Iron Marathon, which asks you to earn 100 points by playing Iron Banner. Match completions are worth 5, match wins are worth 10 points. Next up, we've got Iron Light, where you earn 100 points by getting ability kills. Grenades are worth 2, melees are worth 3, super kills are worth 5. Then we've got Iron Arsenal, which asks you to earn 100 points with weapon kills. Then finally, we've got Iron Support, where you need to earn 100 points by supporting your teammates. The game mode is Clash this time around, so you don't need to worry about any pesky OBJs. Also, you'll notice we got the drop of Hotfix 2.5.0.1, the one after the dawning. This Hotfix mainly fixed a few bugs, like Xur not selling three of coins. I hope you guys have fun out there. Iron Banner Clash is my fave, and I'm definitely going to be pushing myself up to rank 5. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link.